Hi, I'm Pascal Wellen. I'm an esthetician and I'm here with Desirelist. I grew up in Chicago in Wicker Park and Lincoln Park because my parents were divorced. And it was in Chicago that my interest in skincare began because the winters would be so cold and I was constantly looking for things to keep my skin hydrated or fresh looking. And so I really started getting interested in what products would work um, during winters in Chicago. I started experimenting with products at a very young age because I would watch my grandmother get ready and she was a strictly like Clinique user. So I started with those products, but they weren't like hydrating enough. I started going to department stores to really try out different products, um, especially when it was negative 12 degrees and just seeing what would last throughout the day during the freezing cold winters. So my grandmother had a very um, extensive routine growing up and I remember seeing all of these products and being really overwhelmed by them and then sneaking into the bathroom later to try them and probably using them incorrectly. But you know, just playing around with things is the way to figure out uh, what things are and what things work. And I just remember being very interested in it when I was little and really like looking up to my grandma and thinking everything she did was so great and perfect. <laughs> In college, was, you know, I always really wanted to do skincare, but I felt like I was pushed away from that by my friends or family or, you know, everyone just thought maybe I should do other things. And I decided once I moved to Los Angeles was when I realized that this could really be a career. I saw estheticians really getting endorsed by celebrities or, you know, being um, their own entrepreneurs and starting skincare clinics like the one that I work in now and I realized it was um, obtainable and something that I really wanted to do. So when I moved to LA, I noticed that it is the entertainment capital of the world and I really saw the big potential for skincare and getting involved in skincare in the market in LA because everyone wants to look good and feel great and my favorite part about being an esthetician is seeing people's reaction when their skin is glowing and making them feel really good. So once I really realized how much I wanted to be an esthetician, I went to esthetician school and got state board certified. Um, I really went in wanting to do eyelashes and microblading, but I just fell in love with skincare routines as well. And I got a great opportunity working with Mindy Walters um, and taking on some of her amazing clients as well. And she really taught me the ropes and now I am where I am. Uh, the first time I had a client as an esthetician, I was terrified. But you realize once the person is laying down, their eyes are closed, and they are physically like in your hands, that they're so relaxed and they just want to feel good. And so any service that you're doing, as long as you really believe in the products that you're using on them, they're going to have a great experience. The most common complaint that I hear from people is that their skin just generally feels dull or dry. And I would attribute most of that to environmental factors. You know, we are sitting in our cars every day with our windows down and our faces are just getting hit and blasted with all of these bacteria constantly. Um, so I think just having a great skincare routine can really help with that. A lot of people, there isn't enough research to totally say that what we eat is what affects our skin. Like eating a lot of chocolate doesn't necessarily cause breakouts. The only thing that is certain is that drinking a lot of water will always help your skin. Being hydrated is gonna always make your skin glow and help your body in every way. Because we're made mostly of water. <laughs> so I was on 100 Days of Summer in Chicago. Um, I found myself in a group of friends and we were filmed over one summer, chasing our professional dreams at the time. It lasted one season, but it was a lot of fun to film. The first time we filmed, I had never done a show ever before, so it was a little overwhelming, but I really enjoyed the process of it. I loved uh, being around a big crew and being in some of my favorite restaurants while filming and showing all of my favorite local places was really fun for me. Watching the season for the first time was terrifying. Um, no one likes to see themselves in embarrassing situations, but you know, overall, I think it was really fun and it was stressful, but you know, you just have to laugh at yourself sometimes. I don't know if I have it in me to do TV again. It's, uh, it takes a very strong personality and you have to be able to take criticism very well and I'm not gonna claim that I can. <laughs> So growing up in Chicago, my dad owned a production company and he sort of threw, I'm the oldest of four, and he kind of threw all of us into 
working with him at some point, whether it was as talent or as PAs, you know, so I was just always around that environment. So moving to LA, it was a really easy job for me to jump into. And I was lucky enough to work for one amazing female producer who just kind of threw me in the mix and had me coordinate one day when I really felt I wasn't ready. And by doing that, she sort of pushed me out of the nest and I found a talent and really went with it and loved it. Um, however, the hours are extreme, the traveling is extreme, and the inconsistency of work was hard for me, and I really wanted something that I could um, schedule myself all the time. So if you're thinking about becoming an esthetician, my biggest advice would be really do your research and make sure it's something you definitely wanna do. And if it is, then you should get certified um, with a great school. I went to Aveda and they were phenomenal. Um, so I definitely do your research and schooling and make sure you, it's, it, statistician work encompasses more than just facials. You need to do waxing and a lot of body treatments. So make sure that you're really comfortable with all of those things uh, before you invest money into doing this. I think that in order to be successful in achieving your goal, especially for me in my work as an esthetician, is really believing in what you're doing and wanting to create an environment or service for people that you don't feel exists that you would like yourself to exist. And that's really a way, I think, to definitely be successful because you really believe in it.